hip flexors and speed. So to this point, the research hasn't given us real clear evidence or a real clear answer one way or the other uh, to the question of whether or not hip flexor strength training is gonna help us get faster. And I think that lines up with sort of just a uh, common sense needs analysis of sprinting as well, right? If we do that, I think the answer is also not very obvious, okay? So sometimes the answer is obvious, right? So for example, if we talk about the quadriceps and a standing vertical jump, right? So in a standing vertical jump, we're doing a deep knee bend, uh, and then we are trying to extend the legs explosively with maximum effort to launch your entire body up into the air. So in that case, it's pretty obvious that quadriceps strengthening is going to be pretty helpful for that. Things are not as obvious with the hip flexor and sprinting, right? Because the load that you're moving is now just the weight of your leg. And then the effort going into hip flexion during sprinting is not necessarily maximal. Uh, we're just repositioning the leg for the next step. We're not, you know, throwing flying knees out here or something. With those things in mind, I really cannot promise you that getting your hip flexor stronger is going to help you get faster. But I will make these statements. Increasing hip flexor strength is more likely to make you faster if you don't have much of a sprinting background or if you haven't been sprinting much recently. In those situations, you haven't been getting the hip flexor development from sprinting, so a strength exercise is more likely to be influential. I will also not claim firmly, but suggest that hip flexor strength is more likely to help you get faster in the very beginning of a sprint, during early acceleration. At this point of the sprint, the feet are staying a little bit lower to the ground, so you're swinging a longer lever uh, while you're doing your hip flexion. And it's also, uh, higher effort, more dramatic hip flexion at that point because you're actually using that leg swing to contribute to your forward propulsion. Uh, whereas at top speed, we're just repositioning the leg for the next step. You're not driving your knee up hard to try to like get upward propulsion during top speed. Now, regardless of performance enhancement, you should strength train your hip flexors simply because this is a group of muscles that can get injured. So you wanna build those up and make them more tolerant to stress, even if it never makes you run faster. I'm gonna cover some hip flexor strength exercises that I like in the next video.